All right, friends, here we go. Leia Selly here from graffitieyes.com. And today's Facebook Live little tutorial, painting tutorial, I am ready for you to watch me paint some emoji happy faces um, and crazy faces. Not all happy. Maybe some sneaky, maybe some laughing, maybe some crying, but only crying because they're laughing so hard. <laughs> Anyways, um, today that's what we're going to do. And I'm going to have tons of these videos coming out because it's really fast and easy and fun and a great way for me to interact with all of you guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paint, paint, paint and show you some um, basic heads. So you can kind of see all the different faces that I have. Not these faces, these faces. <laughs> and um, I'm going to show just the circle head and the little alien head because um, I've got so many in this kit I just want to kind of get through the faces for you guys so give me a second here to flip my camera angle and uh, I'll show you the supplies I'm going to use so I have my kit these are the three stencils that come in the emojis but um, I'm only going to use two of them today to show you for this stuff. So all of these guys will be um, in another video because I don't want to make these videos too long. People will get super bored. Um, so I got these two stencils that I'm going to be using. Um, I've got some Fab Superstar brand paint that I really like. Um, I've got some powders, colored powders. Um, these are just to, because they help set the paint really fast while I'm teaching. Um, I also use these while I'm face painting in the field um, instead of glitter I can use powders and it just makes stuff dry really fast so you can keep layering your stencils and keep working really fast um, then the sponges that I like to use with powders are these latex free um, makeup application sponges they're really good for that um, and then daubers I've got finger daubers you can get these on my website graffitieyes.com and I've got, um, I'm going to show you guys when some of these wooden daubers. They come in a mixed pack of 16. Um, you can get those on my website too. Um, you can see that those are the same size. But I'll show you what we can do with these. All right, so we're going to use these in the wet paint, the water activated paint. So let me just kind of make some room here and so that I can get my working paper down. Piece of paper. And then at the end, I'll answer a bunch of questions because I can't really see your questions while I'm working. But let's just get started here. So, get some water and uh, we'll get going. I'm just gonna put some paint on my dauber, keep that wet. And I'm just gonna start making some heads. So, hold it down really firmly in two spots. I practice on paper because the same level of wetness that you need your paint to be to practice on paper for it to turn out is the same level of wetness that you need to get it right on skin. So sometimes paper is more forgiving because you can <laughs> really push down on that sponge to get your paint out. But I'm just going to make a whole bunch of little faces here. Now if you notice what I'm doing same way as I was, would paint on a kid. I always hold my stencil tight in two spots. And then on big areas like a circle, I start at the edges and I pull inwards. I'm dragging from the edge inwards. And that way I make sure that I get my edge. I'm not going back and forth because if you go back and forth then you can catch your edge and lift it up and get underneath and then it's all ruined. <laughs> and if you get nice clean edges like this, then... Um, you don't even need to outline your stuff. Let me get some more paint on here. So if I was painting on a kid and I'm working really fast, and if my paint was a little bit wet, I would go on here really fast with my finger dauber. Before I raise my stencil, I would take um, a sponge and just grab some powder and put some powder on it before lifting it. And then you can put the face on really fast. You can keep going really fast. So that's why I would use some powders. But I just wanted to get a whole bunch of these faces on here for you. Let's get one more. And one more. Finger dauber magic. Okay. So, next, we'll get some black. Well, let's see all these faces. I 
sprayed a little water on my face there by accident. Let's see. Let's just start going with them here. Here's Sneaky Guy. So, I need some, some black going. Same thing, I can use a big dauber. You can use a sponge, I'm super used to using a sponge. You gotta squeeze your sponge really small and get your fingers really dirty. I don't mind, I kinda like getting my fingers dirty when I'm face painting, it makes me feel like a real artist. <laughs> okay, here we go. So, just line them up. Whoops, and I wiggled it right away. Okay, just line them up and the same thing, just catch the eyes. And you kind of want to push and wiggle so you can get in all the corners. That guy's funny. Here's a winking guy. He doesn't even have a mouth. So you can give him any mouth. You can like line up another mouth on this card with the heads. There's some bonus mouths here. So on a guy that has no mouth, you can just... I like this mouth because it looks like they're talking. Blah, 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 blah. Here's the neutral face guy. Laughing guy, I love the laughing guy. His big mouth, you can use it for other shapes too. <laughs> He's a good one. This face. Okay, this guy here. He's got his tongue out, so we could actually let me just grab, I only have some powder that's red available here, but we can put a little powder on and then catch the edge. Right? Do y'all see how that magic happened? <laughs> I put two colors on before lifting the stencil off. So now he's got a red tongue and the black on the edge. So that means it's kind of like um, outlined for you instantly like that. Okay. Let's see. Oh, look, there's love eyes. So we can do the same thing again. We can just grab a little, where's my red punch? Grab a little red. Like I said, I only have powder on here. Red powder out right now, but it works really well. Catch the one edge. Yay. Um, oh, barfing guy. <laughs> Heave a nice day. That's what my friend Margie says. Heave a nice day. This guy could put in some green. Grab a little green powder. It looks like puke. Catch some of those dots. <laughs> I don't know who wants puking emoji, but you can make good stories with it, right? Um, okay, this is like the smiling angel face eyes guy. His eyes... I used them the other day for teeth. So you can turn these guys upside down and make fun stuff. Here's a winking guy. I'll show you this face in a sec. This guy's got a cute little tongue hanging out too. Um, surprised guy. I like him. He looks good on pumpkins. I used him on a pumpkin. So instead of a yellow circle, just make an orange circle and put that guy on and put a little stem and you got pumpkin, right? Um, let's see what else I got here. I got just eyes. Um, there's like a blowing a kiss. So let's give a little winky eyes here. And then, oh, I caught his mouth. So let's do just like this. Oh, I like this. And he's blowing a little heart kiss. Put red on there. That one kind of, I made it a little messy. So let's clean it up a little bit, Leia. Need more of that. No, that one I messed up. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> if it was a face paint, you could easily fix that, but because it's on paper, it's not so much. So let's just keep going forward here. Okay, um, let me show you the kissy face again. Let me do it over. Do over. Do I get mulligans in face painting? I say yes, because it's my show. 
Okay, let me just grab some powder and make that go fast. Dry fast. Okay, let's try the little kiss guy over. Okay, so first we want the heart to be kind of blowing off of his face. All right. Change your finger dauber, Leia, so it goes black on there. Catch some of that heart. So he's blowing a kiss. Now it looks good, but he needs some eyes. Let's put, oh, I know I got hearts right here. More hearts. It's totally in love. Yay, that worked better. Okay, let's do some alien heads now. We'll take some green. Why not, hey? Do some green aliens. I'm actually going to take my black before I lift it, kind of just give a little shade out to the sides there. Boom! Instant depth, right? It looks way cooler than this flat one, so let's just touch it up. Kind of get addicted to playing with these things. Okay. So there's a couple of good looking alien heads I got. Alien eyes, classic ones, the big ones, just like this. Get some black on my little finger dauber. I can add a little shine to it. Let's take some gray, or even some white. Blow it off there a little. Oops, did you see that thing run away from me? There we go. Boom. He doesn't even need a mouth. You can put a mouth on him. Um, this little alien face is a little friendlier. Let's see. Just like that. Where's some kind of white highlight, gray? Fun, right you can put little uh, mouth like I said I got these extra mouths down here you can give him a mouth so he's talking like that <laughs> so a couple of different little aliens um, let's see here I'm gonna show oh um, I stuck my black my yellow in the black so I'm just gonna Go with one of these wooden ones here. We'll take, um, maybe I'll just grab another color really quick here. Let's grab some purple. And watch. Give it a couple of sprays so I can get lots of, this is water I'm spraying. Diana says, hey, Leia, greetings from Holland. Hey, Holland. Everyone wants smiling poop. Ooh, smiling poop. Well, first I'm going to do some purple guys here. So same circle. Get on there. Then you can line up the horns. I put little devil horns in there. Lines up perfectly. Right. Then get some black. I'm going to show you, we'll put this little classic sneaky face on. Where my little black guy go? Here we go. Uh-oh. I'm a little nervous and my black was too wet. Let's see what I could do. Ah, I'm so nervous. Let me take a little bit of black powder and stick it on there and set it. See if that helps. Are you guys ready? Oh, not so bad at all. Yeah, it got a little bit blurry on the edge, but nobody cares about that. The idea is there. So there's a little devil guy. Um. Somebody said the poop, so let's go for it then. Oh, you guys. We'll just get 
some brown. I've actually got some yellow on this dauber and I'm using it as a highlight and I just thought to myself yellow highlight on brown kind of looks like baby diaper poop. Blah! <laughs> I got yellow on that side so I'll catch some black on this side. Actually, you know, I'm using a big dauber. Let me show you guys how easy it is just to catch some paint with a, this little tiny dauber because then you really can just grab along the edge here way easier you can do it in circles and blend around grab these edges this is also anything I'm doing on paper is totally possible on a human poop okay but now you want a face in it because everybody loves a happy poop especially first thing in the morning right makes everything better <laughs> I don't know it's true though Um, what else have we got? Oh, easy too. Um, if you don't know what to do, you can give them a disguise. So when you're telling stories, when you're storytelling, you can uh, give them a disguise. Got black going on this one. I'll keep using it. Oh, need a little water. Powders work really well with the stencils. There's some tips though I have for you if you're gonna use powders with the stencils. If you use the big traditional face painting sponges, um, they tend to uh, pick up a lot of powder. These little um, makeup sponges, they just pick up a little bit, so they work really well. There's some sunglasses and mustache. We'll do a mustache on them. Let me get some more water on my black paint. There we go. <laughs> that one looks kind of funny because that purple in the middle looks like his nose kind of in a weird way. Um, there's also whiskers. Oh my goodness. Grab some more yellow here. Oh, my yellow and black got mixed, and so now it's kind of a brownish color. That's okay, because we're kind of do a little, I'll do a little quick cat for you. So underneath the horns, there's ears. There's some yellow powder on there, help it dry faster. Okay, and then we'll take some of this. And we'll give the cat some little whiskers and a nose. It's right on the stencil already. Always make sure you hold your stencil down in two spots. This ensures the best transfer. And if you think you use too much paint, use a little setting powder or glitter before you lift your stencil and that helps. Um, give him a little mouth. We'll just give him a little happy face mouth. And some eyes. Let's pick some eyes. Maybe sized eyes. We'll see how that looks. Ha! Cute! Meow! Meow, meow, meow! And use the other parts of the stencils to create little indents in the ears. Ooh, sneaky. <laughs> so, the panda's kind of hard to show on white paper because of the white background, but I'll show you that guy another time. Um, I'll show you guys fire. Look at the ZZZ transfers nicely too. That's for sleeping. So again, like you can paint a little character and then just add that real quick and then it really adds story to your designs, which is really nice. Oh, there's a halo. The halo's cool. You just, um, let me just get another little, oh, I'll do a purple one. I was going to get another color, but I don't need 
too. Okay, grab some purple. This is just purple. This is me loading purple. Okay, so this halo uh, is really cool. You just line it up so that these two little tip edges are on the tip edges here of their head. So let's do this guy. He's got lots of room here. You put it on an angle because the angle looks cool. I like putting my stuff on an angle because it just makes it look like it's more fun and there's more movement and action happening. Boom! Now it looks like it went behind his head! It's a halo! <laughs> okay, let's do some fire. Fire. And fire is cool. Let's see. Grab some yellow. You can use these little latex sponges on, or no, they're latex free, sorry. They're the make makeup sponges. Um, you can use them with the wet paint too. So the way I like to do the fire is catch the bottom part, some yellow, and then the closer you get to the top, you're going to catch some red and bring it down onto the yellow, right? Maybe that's more orange. And just dab around in there. Fire, same thing. You could, before you lift up your edge, before you lift up your stencil off the kid's face, you can um, take a little black put some little black in there too. So you don't even have to outline it. Right? Different little things you can fool around with. Um, oh, this is the, the little tears. What happened there? The tears line up with the eyes, the different eyes pieces. We'll give them purple tears. He actually looks like he's crying, he's worried. Usually if you do it with a happy face, a laughing face, <laughs> then they look like they're laughing so hard that they're crying. Let's take a little black on the bottom edge, a little shadow. You got something light, you could, something light on the top edge and give it a little highlight. But it fits really perfectly in line with the eyes. Um, oh, and the eyebrows. We gotta see these angry eyebrows. Hold on a second. Again, you can use like a regular face paint sponge with this. You just gotta squeeze your sponge really tight. So you can make anything look like he's sneaking and having a sneaky time. <laughs> we look good on this guy, right? Let me get some. I ran out of paint. There. <laughs> All right, what else have I got on here? There's another set of backup eyes. I think I got all those guys. Oh, there's this face guy here. I didn't get him. Hold on. Let's get him for you guys. This guy, he kind of looks a little more like, mm, like he's laughing and wincing. I like him, right? <laughs> oh, this poor guy, he got messed up. Let's just go like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's driving me crazy. Okay, um, and then, okay, let's try the panda. I'll do the panda, but I'll make him yellow. It just doesn't look right, but I don't, it's not that it doesn't look right, right, but you know, yellow panda, whatever. Anyways, here we go. Um, okay. So the panda's ears obviously go outside the head, or outside the head, outside the circle. Some black. Okay. 
If there's ever like, so if you look on this stencil, there's like the little ear bits lift up or they're little, I don't know how to describe it. They're a little peninsula that sticks out of the rest of the stencil. So those little things are prone to catching, like maybe his eye pupils here would be prone to catching. So whenever I see like an element on my stencil that's like this, I always push and drag away from it. And that way I'm not, I'm not gonna lose my um, little distinctive pattern that's kind of necessary there. So if you ever have like a little nipple thing like that that sticks out, then you always like push on it and go away from it. And that way you're gonna be guaranteed to, or like just, if you know you don't have so much paint on here either, you can just push and do a little push and wiggle. And that always ensures that you get it all the way to the, all the corners so you can get a nice transfer. <laughs> Yellow panda looks cute. Okay, I'm being too hard on myself. Yeah, so those are all the guys. You can fit some eyes inside the fire too, right? These little bonus mouths. This guy's talking. The fire's like, blah, 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 put some marshmallows on me already. I'm ready for Miss Moore's and my coffee. Um, yay. So I think we used them all. Yes, I showed you everything from these cards. Um, so let's see. Yeah. Make me a Dutch emoji with flame hair. Oh my goodness, you guys are nuts. Okay, so for those of you that don't know, Dutch is not just the way of splitting the bill and it is not just a people in a country named Holland. There's a famous face and body painter and his name is Dutch and he's so famous he was on TV even so lots of people know him and he's got a trademark hairstyle that is totally like flaming hair. It's not a mohawk, it's just like, the guy's like big and bold, whatever, and he loves his big hair. So he's got like hair that's like, he does it up like flames. So we'll start with a, <laughs> we'll start with a yellow head. And then I would say that he's a pretty fun, nice guy. So I'm gonna give him this big laughing face because he's gonna have a good laugh at this once his name is tagged if he watches it all the way to the end to see his emoji. <laughs> I'll give him a little laughy face. I'm just gonna put some powder on there real quick cause I'm working fast and that'll help it so that my stencil doesn't pick it up. So now we can take the fire and what you're gonna do is just layer it until you see the corners, the spot where the corners hit your circle really nicely. And we'll just do the same trick. We'll put this time yellow at the tips because if we do yellow against the yellow head, it's not gonna really have the same effect, right? And then we'll take the red and pull it down. My red's kind of pastel here. <laughs> There's our Dutch emoji, having a good time. Oh yeah, and somebody said Dutch does tattoos now too. So he is, he's multi, multi-talented. He's super talented artist. So he gets an emoji. <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> Anyways, there you guys go. See how easy and fast that was even to do a little request. Um, these stencils are awesome. And this is just what we got really quickly. Just smashing some stuff out. Sorry about this little accident guy. Um, then I haven't even gone into this card yet. So let's see, maybe, maybe I'll do a few of these on here too. Okay, let's do it. I'll start. So first of all, what we'll need is some more colors. I'm just going to grab some colors. Okay, here we go. Here's some cool stuff for you guys. Um, who's got some room here to wear a hat? This guy does. So you just want to kind of measure this little top hat up. All my stuff's getting out of control, y'all. Okay, here we go. Black. Get it with our dauber.
pull those edges push and wiggle to get all the way to the corners right and then usually the easiest way to get a highlight is I just grab some powder these two guys here right under the hat line up right on top of the hat and it makes the band and a highlight on there instantly so I just use some white powder for that like those star blends powders work great um, these are pressed powders like makeup powders my friend Alyssa Griffith gave me these um, really great because they're super colorful work everywhere crown let's put a crown on this puking guy he's like I can't handle it anymore making Game of Thrones um, let's do my water and grab some makeup I'll show you on a big sponge here so this is usually the a go-to method that I have is just pinching a big sponge. Crown. Let's do a uh, star. No, oh, we need some yellow. There we go. And we'll grab, put some little teal in the corners here so it really sticks out. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm gonna do one more pizza. Make the crust, right? Put a little shade on the crust. See how fast you can shade with powder? It's crazy. Love it. Um, and then let me get some red. Nobody can see what I'm painting, it's too low. This is my feedback. Here we go. A bit higher. Whoa, okay, sorry guys. I just found out that no one could see what I'm painting, it was too low. I um, did not know that, because I thought I saw it in my viewfinder. Anyways, put a little shade on those two. Pepperoni pizza. <laughs> I'll do this one too. Sack of money. Sack of money. You can do that same trick I was teaching you guys and put a little dark along the bottom so you don't even have to trace it. And cut in a couple other spots. Right? That way it speeds it up because you don't even have to outline it. Now this, this is going to fit perfectly right there. Money! Okay, you guys. I'm going to stop here. I'm going to um, just look through the comments here and see if there are any All right. I'm back. So let's see here. I wasn't able to see while I was painting. Okay. People are saying hi, yay. Somebody's asking me something in Spanish, but I don't speak Spanish that well. I'm kind of like a Google Translate Spanish, and I know a couple of nice things to say to kids while I paint them. Um, people can't wait to get these stencils. It's so great. Other people are loving it. What yellow am I using? Um, I was using yellow from Superstar Fab, and um, I don't know what it says. Color one four four on the back. It doesn't have a name. That's I don't I don't even know if I got it from Silly Farm or if I got it from Superstar while I was in Europe. But it's Fab Superstar brand paint, and they're very good. And the yellow sold me because I was doing. Um, Wolverine masks 
and you know, it's got the yellow and I was able to just go boom, yellow. And it was like, boo, I didn't need two coats of yellow. So super love this, the, just that whole line of paint. Um, Diana says she's used the poop as ice cream. I've done that too. It, perfect pink, purple flavors. You can use the, um, <laughs> check this out, you guys. Well, let me flip this around. So check this out. Somebody used the poop as the ice cream. I'll show you a cool little, I'll show you a cool little trick. Let's see. Guess what I'm gonna do. <laughs> right? Is this sneaky or what, you guys? There we go. Pizza plus poop equals ice cream cone. Um, you can do, like I was showing you, the extra little tip of adding black to shade the bottoms or whatever. Get an outliner. You can use another stencil to make ice cream cone textures on there. So yeah, poop for ice cream. <laughs> poop for voting or something. <laughs> um, or a cupcake. Somebody top said topping to a cupcake. Um, what palette of powder is that? Um, I was saying my friend um, Alyssa Griffith makes the powders. So um, I'll get you information to that in links. What's the smudger looking tool? The smudger looking tool. Um, are you talking about this? These are um, uh, latex free sponges. They're makeup sponges. They're very dense, so they don't pick up very much powder. Because what ends up happening is if you use a regular face paint sponge on pressed powders, it picks up so much powder, and then if you're using it on a stencil, it goes everywhere. These things are awesome. And you can, they are, it is like a smudging tool, so you can blend and make shadows and highlights really easily. I really love them. Um, Yay, too cute. When are these available? They're available now, Wendy Olson, um, on my website, graffitieyes.com. I'll post links to the product. And if you order, um, any order right now on my website um, comes with free snowflake stencil. See, it works really great. You can stick it right there in the middle of the forehead. Add an extra one, you got a perfect little V. So, and it's cool because it's on a little floaty angle. So it looks like there's more movement in your paintings. It's not just like a stamp of an old snowflake. Um, what purple is that? This was a magic purple that my friend Marcella gave me from Mexico. And I don't know what it's called. It's got no name. Sorry, guys. I don't sell the paint, just the stencils. <laughs> but I do have some of these daubers on my website now, so um, you can check it out. And these, and these skinny wooden ones, too. I've got those on there, too. Um, Dutch emoji with flame hair, done. Uh, ice cream. My camera fell, can't see, fix the camera. Oh my goodness, sorry that my camera wasn't working. Um, but that's fixed now, you can see my eyebrows, I guess. <laughs> oh, is there any other questions? Hard to find good, strong yellows and reds. Yes, and that's why I like that Superstar Fab brand. The red is Spider-Man for real. Yellow, like I said, one coat, one coat is all you need. Um, their gold and their silver are awesome too. Like it actually looks like gold and silver um, with one coat. Yay! Okay, I think that's all the questions that I got. So um, I'm gonna leave you with that. I'll flip you to my guys. Oops. And um, these are just some of the guys just using the stencils straight, like just with no extra fancy anythings. Um, I have like lots of fun designs that I can't wait to show you guys. But I think for today, I'm gonna call it um, I'm gonna call it a day for painting in front of you guys because I am got so much for you guys coming up. I'm really excited showing you what we can do with these stencils because. I don't know if you realize it, but we are just scratching the surface here. So um, until tomorrow, we'll see you guys and um, wait for the links and we'll talk to you soon. Show me what you can do.